My name is Bill Cloyd and I am from Lexington, Kentucky. I'm an engineer and I'm the founder and director of Newton's Attic, which is a nonprofit educational organization in Lexington that works with kids to get them all interested in science and engineering and math and that sort of thing through hands-on activities, tool use, you know, all sorts of things like that. So my name is Keith Hollifield and I'm from Lexington, Kentucky. My focus is mainly on the electronic side of things, so uh, I designed the robots, built the robots, so I have to get them working and keep them working. Uh, my name is Caden Voss, I'm from Danville and I grew up in Lexington. At this camp I've been primarily in charge of um, constructing the arena and most of the general fab fabrication that goes into that. I've actually rethought my career path since I've been here. I've really thought about going into welding school because I really like it. And I feel like it's made me more social, like easier to open up to people, I guess. There's a lot of electrical stuff I didn't know about because I'm not very, a very good electrician. So now I can go do like small engine repairs and I know about the circuits. This program has really opened my eyes to what actual engineering is like because before this I had not had any major experience. I had done a few little projects here and there, but this is my first hands-on, using all the tools, welding, soldering, all of that. My favorite part of the program would definitely be to see like when we fly. This is basically the moment where we get to see all our hard work effort into one moment and see how well we did. I think this program is really important for kids because it uh, it really exposes them to things that they might not have known that they would enjoy. Like for example, none of these kids knew how to weld coming into this program. And I there have been several KISS students who have already asked me about what it looks like to go into a career path for welding. And so I just think that's really awesome that it exposes them to that and you know it's just it just opens their eyes to things that they might want to do with their future. So what we're trying to build here is to put something equivalent to a sport in every school where the students are stealthily learning engineering skills. So when it comes time that they are seeing physics and force and motion when they get into their upper high school years, uh, they can relate that back to something that they've done in real life. They've actually done something that involved those forces and those motions or electricity power and uh, makes it a little bit more relevant and hopefully inspires a little bit more passion when it comes time to study and prepare for what, we'll, what we hope may be their later career. When they're in the arena, the, you know, the music's playing and the, and the lights are flashing and they're, they're jumping around and they're trying to beat each other, that's the fun part for me.